Hey everybody, I'm Chris from the EcoPod channel, and today we're gonna put a super fast motorcycle e-bike engine in the back of this electric bike and make it go twice as fast as it's supposed to go. Let's go check it out. All right, so this is an ELF e-bike and it's supposed to have this little tiny motor in it. So what we're doing is we're putting this souped up uh, electric motorcycle motor into the back of this. The, this little motor used to power this thing about 25 miles an hour and uh, at 24 volts. And this much bigger hub motor works at 72 volts. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the battery and the wiring and uh, install this souped up motor into the back of this ELF. All right, so the biggest thing we had to address was the fact that the original brackets were not made to handle this type of power. And they, uh, they're aluminum and they bent pretty quickly. And when they bent, they actually damaged the cable. So first thing we had to do was repair the cable, strip this all the way down and repair the damaged wires in here. Then we went, went ahead and fabricated up these brackets. And these brackets aren't slotted. They're internally slotted, but they're not open. So, and they're made out of steel. So these are a lot stronger the original, than the original brackets. And because this is a motorcycle motor, motorcycles would have a tension on them and uh, electric bikes don't. So we went ahead and added this tension bolt onto it so that this chain can actually be tensioned so that this wheel uh, doesn't slip at all. Next thing we had to do is get this wheel aligned and get it uh, freewheeling. So as you can see, it's all happily installed in there. We got the chain on there, chain's running great up to the pedals. Next thing we did was route the harness up into the back of this box. This box was in here originally. We went ahead and installed the speed controller in here, uh, upgraded the lugs for the power supply. So the 72 volts is going right into it with the same fat lugs. Uh, this is Rerouted this out here. Now we're going to install the battery over the top of that. So do, to do that, we fabbed up this tray. And this tray will drop right down inside here. So that the battery can go on top of the uh, speed controller without actually touching the speed controller. This is our big beefy 72 volt battery. Get a little peek inside there. This unit does the speed control and the blinkers. This is the connection for the motor. You can see that goes there. This is the connection for the battery and the uh, solar charger is in here. So instead of trying to break this apart and separate it because it runs off 24 volts, I'm just gonna go ahead and order a separate blinker unit that we can run off the 72 volt battery and uh, ditch this whole unit completely. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and give this e-bike set up a test run. Hey everybody, I wanna talk about our sponsor today and that's Studio Phoenix. They sent us a sound system for our shop and we love this thing. This is a six and a half inch dual speaker sound system. And one of the great things about it is it's uh, indoor, outdoor, and it's 12 volts, or it runs off 12 and 24 volts, which means it's great for a boat and an RV. Um, but it works great in this shop because it's indoor, outdoor, it's actually sealed better than the average speaker. So it's gonna keep all that metal particulate that's flying around the shop out and away from the magnets of the speaker and keep that sound quality good. If you're looking for a sound system, especially one for your boat or RV, head to studiophoenix.com and use the link below and the code ECOFOGE to let them know we sent you and get 10% off and support the channel. Just sparked last time. Let's try it again. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got power. So 
far so good. this thing up and made it go dangerously fast. If you have one of these, I'm not sure you want this thing to go as fast as this one does. It's not for the faint-hearted. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and check out some of my other videos in this playlist below. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll catch you guys next time.